Hello, welcome on Game Namely channel. Today in this video we are gonna look at some tiling. Basically, tile is a piece of art uh, which can be repeated into a seamless texture and I have prepared this piece of art. It's basically a super super normal basic stone tile. I know it's not perfect, uh, the edges are like super rough and it doesn't look that great, but uh, for me it's gonna be a great start to uh, start implementing the tiles into the game and I can change the art later for that, so let's start with this piece of art. First of all we need to import our sprites, I'm gonna put it into art folder and you can see I have this uh, 32 grid file uh, if I open open it in the editor you can see this is what we get uh, also we need to change something first in our settings uh, it's gonna be 32 by 32 every square is gonna be 32 pixels wide and 32 pixels high Uh, also, we need to change filter mode to point, no filter, because we are using pixel art, which is a super small piece of art and it would try to blur it out when we put it into our game. So this prevents that. And also let's check uh, compression none, because uh, there might be a little slight of uh, misinterpretation uh, in color when you're using pixel art and you need every piece of color, every piece of pixel. So it's better to not use any compression in that manner. And also let's uh, set it to multiple in sprite mode because it's not a single sprite, uh, it is multiple sprites in one file. And now if we open the editor, of course we need to first apply it. You can apply it when the window pop up, pops up or you can apply it uh, here in the editor inspector. So we can press apply and now if we open the sprite editor, we need to slice our art into the appropriate boxes, which is going to be 32 by 32. I prepared it in my uh, graphical program that uh, it's already prepared in uh, the 32 grid, but we need to set it for the slicing. So I'm gonna press slice and grid by cell size. And we need to change it to 32 by 32. And if you press slice, you can see it sliced off our grass off that's because uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use this type of grass and we can create tiles for the grass uh, on its own and I'm just gonna worry about the stones for this episode but feel free to make your own art and make it even better than I have right now. So let's click apply and escape and if you see in our folder we have now the 32 grid file that is containing the many of the of the sprites that has been sliced from the big file. Now we need to create some tiles. For that we're gonna need a package which is called 2D Extras and if you want to find out how to install it you can press up here there should be there should be a card pop up which uh, will take you to my video where I installed it. So we're gonna create a automatic tile and it's gonna be in create 2D extras tiles and rule tile not automatic tile sorry rule tile uh, and pretty much what the rule tile is I'm gonna name it uh, ground test. Uh, what rule tile is, uh, you can pretty much set every sprite to have some uh, kind of conditions. So 
let's say if I have a sprite that can only be put on the side, uh, I can make it in the condition so that uh, if nothing's besides the tile, it can be placed there. Uh, you're gonna see that in a second. So we created our uh, rule tile. I'm gonna set the basic tile to the middle uh, middle sprite. And if you can see there are plus icons on the right side and I can start adding our uh, single or sprites. So I'm gonna select, let's say the top left uh, sprite, which is this one. It's uh, You can see it by the white space on the left side and by the grass on the top side. So this is pretty much the top left corner. So I need to specify by right clicking on the left and top side that this tile is gonna be where there's no tile next to it on the left and there's no tile above it. So there can only be tiles right to this tile and bottom to this tile. And we're gonna repeat that for all the remaining tiles and I'm gonna see you after that. Okay, so now I set up, uh, I set it up for all the nine tiles because we had the grid of uh, three by three. We're not gonna worry about the grass. So there should be nine rules for our tiles. It's not gonna be perfect because if you want to make it uh, like super smooth uh, for the drawing, you would need uh, more tiles, for example, uh, one by one tile which I don't have right now, so I'm gonna be using uh, the basic tile uh, which which has uh, no borders so if something's uh, wrong it can always put the middle tile in there so now we need to create our uh, palette uh, I have this window tile palette it should be somewhere uh, in the window, I don't, maybe 2D tile palette, I think here. And uh, you can see that uh, we can create our new palette, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click create new palette, I'm gonna name it rock palette. I'm gonna create it and I'm gonna save it in my palette folder select and in our palette folder in the unity we can see our rock palettes here so th this is our rock palette and now it's gonna tell us that we need some sprites or tiles to put in here so we're gonna go to our tiles folder and pretty much drag our ground test in here now what we need to do is in our scene we need to create a tile map because uh, if I uh, choose the paintbrush and the tile that I want to paint with, uh, I can cannot paint in my in my scene. So we need to add in our scenes to the objects tile map. Tile map. It's gonna create a grid which we can customize. I'm not gonna touch it right now because I don't have to. And our tile map. So now, if I have the tile map chosen, uh, I can pretty much start painting uh, with my uh, with my tiles. As you can see, 
those bottom tiles are the left corner, bottom side and right bottom corner. As I said, it's not perfect. Uh, we would need to add more tiles to our palette, but for some basic world building, I think it's plenty enough. And now, if we press start, we're not gonna be able to jump on our tiles because uh, they don't have collider yet. So we're gonna need to fix that. Let's go to our tile map and add a 2D collider, tile map 2D collider. So it's gonna add the grid for each of the boxes. And we can also add composite collider. And if we press in our tile map collider used by composite, it's gonna clear out the middle middle co collisions so it's not taking as much processing power and also don't forget to set the rigid body as static because we don't want it to move and now we should be able to jump on the platform i'm gonna move uh, this bottom one a little bit to the top so we can jump above it and if i press play we can now interact with the platforms. We cannot jump because uh, we set this platform to be a platform layer. So let's set our tile map also to the platform layer. And if we press jump, we can jump even on the platforms created by the map. So that's gonna be it for this video. I'm super glad that you made it this far and if you enjoyed the video you can press like and if you want to see more videos from me in the future you can subscribe down, ugh, you can subscribe down below. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!